Hello everyone and welcome to this Spreadite Python series and this is our first tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn that what is Spreadite. So let's begin. Spreadite is basically an automation testing tool and it enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for the modern web application. There are so many good features and the first good feature is that it supports the multiple browsers. This means that you can write and execute your test across the different browsers like Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari and the the other good feature is that it's a cross platform which means that you can run your test on windows linux mac you can run those locally or on the ci or even the headless or the headed mode then it's a cross language which means that you can write the automation scripts using the typescript javascript python.net or java now there's a feature called as test mobile web so basically this will be a native mobile emulation of Google Chrome for the Android and the mobile Safari. The same rendering engine works on the desktop and in the cloud. Okay. Then we have no flaky tests using the auto wait, web first sessions, tracings. Then we have no trade offs, no limits. We can easily handle the multiple tabs, multiple origins, multiple users. We can Go with the trusted events. We can easily go with the test frames, share it on. You can run the tests in the full isolation with the fast execution because of the browser context. Then we have a powerful tools like you can generate the test using the core chain. Then we have a playwright inspector through which we can inspect the page, generate the selectors, step through the test execution, and see click points and explore the execution log then we have a trace viewer which will capture all the information to investigate the test failure now these are so many features we will in this series we will go through each and every feature step by step and in this as in this particular series we are working on the python so we will be using the python documentation so by default it's node.js and I have already created a complete playlist on using the Node.js and JavaScript. So if you want to learn using the JavaScript, so you can just go to that particular playlist and learn from there. But in this series, as we are working on the Python, so what we need to do is that we need to select the Python. And here we'll click on the Get Started. And it will take to the documentation for the Playwright Python. So in our upcoming tutorials, we will learn to install the Python and we need some ID. So we will go with the PyCharm. So I will go for those installations and then we will proceed with the installation of the Playwright using the PyTest. And then we will gradually learn the different features and functionalities of the Playwright to automate your web applications. Now what we need to do is that we need to know about some useful links before we start. So we have this GitHub account. So if you click on this one, so it will take you to the latest GitHub account and it will contain all the files and everything, the issues. So this is specific to the Playwright Python, right? So if you go to the issues, so it will give you the list of the issues which are currently in progress or either closed. So you will get the information and here you will also get the EP reference example. So this uh, again, is a very very useful link which you should know so you see that the bugs in the open state or the closed state and so tomorrow you're working using the playwright python so you need to look into this one because in case you might be encountering some issue and the issue is already in the open state right so you can see and even in the case you are encountering with the bug you need to look here as well so sometimes it's closed close means that it might got fixed in the latest version so you need to upgrade or update to the latest playwright version okay so this is very important link then uh, we have this discord server so this is a community base if you click on this one so you will be having a lot of information about the playwright so it's a community so it's simply go there download the discord servers and be a part of that community so you will learn a lot from there you will get a lot of information announcements everything from there and in terms of the documentation so we have this epa documentation just click on this one and here you will see the epa docs so this is general instruction how to get started with the playwright python but if you go here 
so this is basically in terms of the api so we have classes apis we have browser contents so we will learn these things by step as i said earlier but right now you should know about these useful links then if you go to the scalability tab basically so here again uh, there's an investor page you, you if you know want to know about the conference talks live stream feature videos release videos so you can simply go there so for example feature videos so it will take you to this particular page where you see the feature videos and here you will see that how to api mocking then trace weaver code gen so these are all the feature videos then just go to the learn videos so here from here you can learn the playwright right so how to generate test in the playwright with the vs code extension so you will get a lot of uh, videos over here as well similarly go for the live streams you will get a lot of information from here so these are all the useful links you should know about the playwright and in our upcoming tutorial we will learn to install the python because we will be working on the python and then followed by downloading and installing the pycharm and then we will gradually move to the playwright learning step by step thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial